What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Video Games. We have spawned back over at Rhodes, and we do have a stranger mission that has popped up. I think this is our second one in this area. So let's see what's going on with that. Oh, it's a dude on a bench. He sounds kind of just really messed up. <laughs> what you want? You okay? <laughs> Does he seem Still like I it? Look okay. Right? No. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be gentle. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot <laughs> to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. Ew, 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 ew. Why'd it look green for a second? <laughs> Gross. My old house. The house my grandfather built all dilapidated and destroyed repossessed by the bank i'm sorry to hear that i was supposed to live a different life me too <laughs> oh, i could get my old things back personal mementos mm. a watch old pistol my ledger i guess this is what Where's we're here to again? do comps instead a, north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Mm, Time is it gonna tell us where it is though? Cause that would be nice. Okay, no. It really doesn't. <laughs> what all do we even have going on on the map? Oh, yeah, no, it does show us. <gasps> okay, so I would love to do that first then. We'll start the mission, the mission? We'll start the video off with a side mission. English, Kaylee. Um, <laughs> and then we can go back to camp. We have Lenny's, it just says he needs to speak to us. Trelawney, I kind of forgot that the last episode we did find him and he is coming to the camp. And I kind of want to like look at my wardrobe in the camp again and try and dress Arthur up because I love this outfit that he has right now. But I do also kind of miss just a more casual look on him, which I know we have plenty of at the camp. So we'll kind of mess around with that. And I totally forgot how long Arthur's facial hair is getting. I haven't played in like a good week, so I just don't remember a lot of things little details sometimes until I revisit the game again but he's looking pretty good I might let it grow just a little bit more not too much though it's starting to look a little funny right now anyway because his hair is so short <laughs> it's not really like a balanced look I probably shouldn't be cutting through the woods here but that is exactly what I'm doing now I don't know, should I try and... Nah, I just gave food to the camp. I'm just gonna go straight to the stranger mission. Oh, I just ran one over. Run away while you still can. <laughs> oh my goodness. There you go, Alicia got a little bath. Why don't you look at that? Dude, these scarecrows are something else. Look, I, I, there's something else. I've never seen anything quite like it. So it says we need to break into the house. So I'm guessing what? Can we just not go straight through the front door? I'm sure we can. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. 
Repossession order. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Wow, I love how they had the voiceover for that. I thought I was going to have to read it. <laughs> Take open gin, don't mind if I do. Oh, there's a cigarette card. I love when we find these. Wow. What an interesting fellow. So, that's Jim Cobb. I was trying, it, it looked so small, I couldn't tell if it was Cobb or Cost. Like, I couldn't tell if, it, I, I didn't know it was B's. <laughs> they looked like S's. Well. Oh! Edger, watch. Pistol. Examine, empty bottle. Kentucky Bourbon. Old Blood Eyes. Jefferson Hitchens. Quite fancy. Yeah, we have a lot of canned food, especially now that I just, I'd be taking some from camp. Child's Drawing. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Looks kind of scary, but good job, kid. <laughs> Got a photo. Look at us being nosy. Leave it to me to do that. <laughs> June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Wow. That's sweet. Man, now I really feel bad for this dude. I'm learning a lot about this guy. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. <laughs> These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Wow. Womp womp. Here's the watch. Whoa, very antique. That's the old watch. Yep. Now the ledger and the pistol. Ledger and the pistol. Are those more premium cigarettes? Or can I not grab them? I definitely can. Let me maybe if I open the cabinet. Oh, it's because I'm full on premium cigarettes. Uh, uh where are they at again? Here. I just have so many. I could probably just get rid of them, I guess, would be the reasonable thing to do. Red Rocket. Okay. Where is all this old crap? <laughs> Listen, I'm having a good time. I'm in no rush. Gloves. Another letter. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. 
Things is easier up there for sure. Huh. Did I miss anything? You searched that. I think we're pretty good. Is there anything else in here? No. I didn't know if there were cabinets on that little thing or not. Is there a way to get up there? There was something glimmering, but it looked like it was upstairs. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. Oh, God. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. So he's just losing his jobs. Ah, uh, a trap door, huh? Oh, we got to go back and look for that. We definitely, definitely do. <laughs> Whoa! What are you doing here? We found this place first. <sighs> yeah. Shut up, you're just a squatter. Yeah. I'm a cowboy. Just looking around for I win. Hmm. That old revolver yours. <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah, son of a bitch! God damn it. Come on now. Embarrassing. Come on. God Whoa. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Whoop. 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 Whoa. You missed. You missed again. Oh, wait. No, I actually, I think he got me that time. Ooh. Well, that was gross. That was really gross. <laughs> nothing? Are you telling me he had nothing? I mean, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I just didn't want it to be true. I don't want your hat. How do I get in here? Oh, there we go. I had to position myself. I don't like the view. It looks kind of scary. Shit. Oh, it sounds so creepy. Mm. No. Why the chains, man? If I get stuck in here, it's done. It's over. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. Mm. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. Wow, okay. God. Yeah, that's wild. I also love how Arthur's all about, like, don't read my journal. <laughs> but then <laughs> it's good to read someone else's, of course. Because only I can do it. Oh, here's some rats. Or oh, is there another one? Oh, it's a ledger. There we go. There we go. That's what we were looking for. And then we need to get the gun, right? I think I left it on accident. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh, rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. Oh my January god. January 18th, Louise, 
$12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Holy crap, dude. Just this stinking pistol. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna go down. It's gonna go down. So that's all? It looked like there was something else. I don't know. It's not really showing up. Yeah, let's get the pistol and we will go. This was very interesting. I wasn't expecting this to be like a full on detailed mission. Oh, that'll be the pistol. With a whole story. Is there gonna be any more trouble? Is there anything here? Probably not. Looks really bad. Oh my god! What the heck? <laughs> what? I love how I felt the need to do that. <laughs> and then just leave. I thought I heard a pig or something. That's funny. Now I really need to eat, um, anything, really. Anything. Oh, is he not gonna eat it? Come on, bro. Well, that was cool. I'm interested to see how Arthur is gonna interact with this dude yep. once we get back. Oh god. Fancy to see god, you. Darling. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just it's all it's all going to hell. Oh man. Oh man. Mm-hmm. You Show some respect. No, I think I'm good. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards have changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, <laughs> they are for <laughs> pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. <laughs> ah, God. Damn you. <laughs> Damn you. Yep. I still exist. <laughs> and... oh. <laughs> well, anyway. Oh, God, I didn't even realize. Are you by a grave yard? You certainly are. And you camped out by a graveyard. I'm... There's a lot of things to be concerned about, I think. <laughs> um... I don't even know. I'm just gonna go back to camp. I'm gonna go back to camp. Hey, we got our honor up! Why am I on here? Just jump off, please. You don't want to? You don't want to. Well, but then you're never hesitant to just jump when I don't want you to jump. <laughs> I 
All right, back on a trail. No more off-roading. It's getting risky. Yeah, I liked how that whole mission was pretty much like narrated almost with everything we read. That was cool because we've never really had a stranger mission like that. So it made it seem more immersive. Oh. Let's show how free men do some kill. Gosh darn it. I can never have peace. Uh, where is anybody? Oh gosh, it's cause we're moving! You didn't want to finish! Okay, 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 we're fine, we're fine. We didn't die. We didn't die. Let's loot you. Yeah, I don't know who I dislike more. These raiders or the O'Driscolls? <laughs> I guess they're equally just as bad. It's probably why I can't decide. Because, man, I'm just trying to chill. God, we have a lot of money, actually. We're still over two grand. I should probably do something with it. <laughs> I still have more things to sell, too, actually. Oh, I need to do something with my lion's paw. I, uh, let's go ahead and head to the fence real quick, because I don't even know what all I need for, like, a, um... It's like a... token prize thing. I'm really curious as to how things are going to progress in roads because for a while now we haven't been able to use our weapons and I'm just curious to see how long that's actually going to hold up. Okay. Hey, welcome back. Hello. Sift through, see what you like. Craft. Looking for a special something Drink for it! A That's what it's called. Someone. I was like, what the frick is it called, man? <laughs> okay, let's craft it. How's it? Hmm? Yay! We got a lion's paw trinket. We could do a lot. My oh my. Beaver tooth trinket? Why does that look kind of scary? <laughs> Cougar, coyote, elk, antler, fox claw. You know, a lion's like paw seems like the most badass. All right, it's a whole lion. Alright, yeah, we have this whole emerald. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, let's see. I'll save um the silver camp buckles. No questions asked. I like giving items to camp for the honor. Hell, but you really get rid of this? I like the money for myself. You got a decent eye for these things by the looks of it. Thanks. Okay, bye. Nobody's missing this too much. Remember, hush, hush. Yep. I know, um, just from looking at the different trinkets that you can craft and different things, um, I noticed that there's some jewelry involved, but for next time, I suppose. When I'm ready to craft those, I'll look for the jewelry, I guess. <laughs> when the time comes, but I like having the money now. We've got a lot of things upgraded at the camp. Honestly, probably almost fully upgraded. The only thing I can think of that we don't have is we definitely don't have the camp boat, which I don't mind. Uh, hey. Are you sure? Because they're fighting. This 
saying how it looks. It's not okay. Don't worry. I won't tell on you, I guess. I can't believe that worked. Yeah, well, we don't got time to celebrate. Come on. Oh my don't God, dude. It ain't my problem. Plan. Plan it ain't my off. problem. Shut up. Hurry up. Well, I'm gonna loot them. Don't mind me. I kind of want this hat. Yes, I can pick it up. <laughs> oh, we don't have the badge on anymore, do we? Oh, this hat cannot be stored and will be lost if left on the ground. Well, that sucks. I'll be wearing it for now. Oh, there's a prisoner that I totally forgot to loot. Do you think he has anything? Probably not. Oh, no, you can just pick him up. I was right, and I should have just right, rode away. <laughs> yep. Oh, you horsies. I'm so sorry that your boys died. Anyway, let's look at some camp upgrades, I guess. See if there's anything that we want to get. I'll probably get the boat. Then we can go fishing. I wonder if there's stew ready. Is there any stew? <gasps> Ooh! Speaking of fishing, we have to do that Kieran fishing mission because I tried to do it before. No, Trelawney, not yet. I tried to do the fishing mission with him before. Fishing mission? <laughs> I tried to do it with him before and it wouldn't let me because it disappeared. Oh, I thought that could be something we could read. Oh, it's already 6.15 p.m. Is there no food? They wanted to, but Arthur did me right. Of course. Probably not. Let me just check real quick. It's over here. Sadie. Oh, yes, we can. Beautiful. And then we go fishing with Kieran. I'm excited because that is going to be the first time we ever do anything with him on our own willingly Tilly wait not yet everyone wants to talk to me so bad Arthur you going fishing yes we're running off to Como Driscoll of course not <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. He's just a little bully. Don't <laughs> yeah, worry very, about him. Very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. Yes. Why All not? Right. Grab your horse and let's go. Okay. Um, I'm realizing how funny this hat looks on Arthur now. <laughs> now that I see him in okay, cutscenes with it. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. <laughs> oh my goodness. We gotta commit to it. Once we lose it, um, we'll switch to the OG hat. But I think this is kind of funny. Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just... Looking for a good place to drown you. Arthur, stop. Because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Okay, you show the way. I like his horse. I never realized uh, what his horse looks like. It's cute. This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Oh wow! Well. Sure. Just across the way from our camp. Uh, 
This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Pick a spot, any spot. How do I get okay, I always forget. Hot Iron Lake? The names in this game are fantastic. Oops. You just put it away. Maybe some bread or cheese. Yeah, I like to use hey, cheese. Be careful. I don't want to hook you, Arthur. There we go. I accidentally tapped it instead of holding it, and it just made him put the fishing rod away. Mmm. Bread bait is best for catching perch and redfin pickerel. Perch are found in the north, while redfin pickerel live in the south. All right then. Um. So, uh, are you gonna grip the rod? Or are we, are we not? Oh, because I need to be right over here, I guess. <laughs> I love how picky this game is, it's amazing. Okay. So. You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? <laughs> I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Mm. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. They barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm, I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you. But I ain't sure Karen Vanderlamp is going to stick. That did not work. I was too slow. Because I got distracted. Well, I like that we're uh, learning a little bit more about Kieran. I'm hoping to hear more. Here we go. I caught something. Too fast. You could break the line. Oh, sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, Good catch, we got a tiny little fella. You like the cheese, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a pound and 14 ounces. Native to lakes, swamps, and streams. Pickerel are aggressive predators, so bread is just as good as any bait. Meat is flaky. Nah, well, he liked my cheese. Enough. He liked it good enough. Oh, oh, we did use bread. I'm so stupid. I thought we had cheese. That looked like cheese to me. This is the cheese picture. Okay, cheese is good for bluegill and raw bass. Me you know, that makes sense to why I was reading about bread. I was a little confused. I'm just confusing myself. Because when am I never confusing myself? I'm so really good at it. Dutch trust me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promise loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Comb. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, <laughs> I just can't manage to. Arthur, maybe we'll get you there. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? Feather's naked as a jaybird. Is what? That why you like this spot? <laughs> hey, what's the lie? Oh, There's somebody hey, needs to go to confession. I gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. Karen, that's all you, buddy. You here for some fishing? This is hilarious. We hope to. You haven't scared them all away, have you? <laughs> Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Ooh, what? Hello? Are you? Well, I better what? keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents what? get something. Oh my yeah. god. I, I th will take a look. Thanks. I thought something I pulled him under. On, let's go. Well, take care. That honestly made me nervous. I thought he got pulled under by Come something. On, go. Goodness hey, gracious. That was beautiful, fishing over by the sunset. 
I hope this big fish isn't scary. Because <laughs> now it's dark. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why didn't we go fishing over here? This seems more just... I, I think this is the place that naked fella was talking about. Yeah, probably. It's more open. So, what, what do you want to do? Are we... You want to get off? Oh, yeah, look at that. That was you good. See that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? And I know bluegill like cheese. <laughs> That I am correct about this time. Uh huh. Ooh, pick up and examine. What do we got? Guess we'll see. What are you waiting for? I don't know. I got distracted by the herbs. Oh. Bullrush. That's intriguing. Can be recognized by the long leaves and brown staminate flowers. This plant can be found near streams and lakes in every region across America. The plant is poisonous to humans, so it should never be consumed, though it can be used in crafting a horse ointment. Okay, so we can't eat it. Good to know. <laughs> I'm going to accidentally poison myself. Okay, so our fishing rod, and let's use up some cheese. Yeah. All right, bluegill, I'm coming for you. <gasps> what you is that? Is that a water snake? Are we, are we not gonna look at the water snake? My pappy mostly. I, I lost my mammy. Look at it. Or is it? Young. Yeah. Your it mammy? looks scary. Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much. But I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now, you. Never be alone again. Which is a good thing. It's a good thing, I think. Oh, there we go. Did you hook him, the big one? I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, it wait. Don't feel like much of a fighter. Hmm. It's not. Did we get a snake? They're starting to freak me out. I didn't mean to talk over them earlier, but uh not bad, but uh, it ain't okay. the one we saw jump out of the water. No. No, but I'm still gonna keep it. More fish means more food. Oh, I don't have a Oh man. Oh, my bad. Okay. I'm just gonna use this again. Bluegill. That's what we're looking for, right? See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time. They're going to kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. <laughs> Christ. If I'd known you were going to moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. <laughs> he has every right. It's funny he's saying Sadie's all up in it, too. I mean, rightfully so. Oh, there we go. You got it. That has got to be the one, right? Uh, um, don't feel very big to me. Man, dang it, really? Okay, maybe third time will be the charm. Maybe. Yeah, this is tiny. Tiny. A little bit bigger than what we caught earlier, though. A rock bass. This was the other fish they said that we could catch with cheese. So, I've got some faith. What is this? Corn baits. Hmm. I don't even remember what we're after at this point. <laughs> I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. 
You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later. Okay, are we all going back? Well, I'm, I'm gonna go one more time. Okay, I, I think I'm getting my fishes mixed up because I don't know fish. <laughs> so, what was he calling it earlier? Blue something. I'm guessing it's not the bluegill, though, because I just... The bait we have is for small fish. I don't know anymore, ever. <laughs> I just woke up, man. And I'm, I'm just here. At least we've got some fish to cook. Damn. Well, this is bigger. Largemouth bass. At least we got something big. Ish. Not as big as we wanted, but... Ah, I forgot that we have the lake lures, too. Oh, okay, I can't... I can't climb up when I'm holding the rod. <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. Wow, look at all the freaking... Just action going on in that water right now. It's crazy. Oh! Okay. I thought we would be avoiding it naturally, and it just really didn't happen. <laughs> Sorry, Alicia. Uh, and we just did it again! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Let's not... We need to get away from the trees, please. Thank you. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Is this shallow enough to cross? I no, it doesn't really seem like it. Actually, is it? Can you swim? No, she can swim. Oh my god, can you? Okay. <laughs> Was this a bad idea? Good job, girly. All right, now I kind of want to try and talk to people. Oh, not Abigail and John arguing again. Listen, Abigail, you you deserve so much more than I can manage. I guess I just don't know much about fathering. Oh, it's real easy. What do I do? Just be there? Privacy here, okay, Arthur, fine, whatever. <laughs> I'm just nosy. Pretty much the exact opposite of what you have been. We'll find it. Oh, I ain't joking. Just use that tiny brain of yours, and whatever you think is right and proper, do the exact opposite. Then you'll raise a man. <laughs> just like your mama did? Ooh. Raise a real man like you? Ooh! Yeah, that was well deserved, John. What the hell was that for? Hello, Mr. Arthur. Hey, dude, and your jammies are ready? Thanks again for coming fishing with me. We should do that again sometime. I would love to. We'll see. I would love to. I don't know about Arthur. I should be getting on. Yep. All right, man. See ya. See, that was so nice because we actually got to hear like at least a little bit more about himself. Although I wish we got that a little earlier in the game. But it makes sense because no one really trusts him. I'm trying to get to John. Marston. Yes, Arthur. What was that? See? We can be nice to each other, I guess. No, oh, that's all. I was trying to get the tea, man. Well, I mean, I guess I heard everything <laughs> that I needed to hear, but. <gasps> oh, are you guys roommates? We got that thing done for the Braithwaite. There'll be some money at the end of this. Oh, there will be. I sure hope so. When Hosea says it, I believe it. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk more later. Thanks. I love Hosea. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's too tempting. I'm too tired. For this. Oh my god, I love it. I'm so sorry, Bill. 
Don't mind me. Susan. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you were snoring, that's all. <laughs> Arthur? You gotta be quiet. You're snoring. Well, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> you gotta be quiet, man. What time is it? Oh, because it's almost 3 a.m. We were fishing for a while, huh? And Kieran's still roaming around just like me. <laughs> for the love of God, stop giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Oh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. Right. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind. Damn, just because you're going through all of that does not give you an excuse to treat her like that. I guess 3 a.m. is the uh, hour of argument. Because, <laughs> damn. Y'all are not vibing with each other right now. Um, let's contribute... The... Belts. Oh my god, I forgot about our pocket watches. Oh, we have so many pocket watches. <laughs> Oh no! Oh man! Well, I guess I um. How much are they worth? Eight dollars each, ten dollars each, twelve dollars each. I'm gonna save it for whenever I remember to sell things again. You know, funny thing is, John. It, I know. What? No, Bill's I, awake now? I, I, the funny thing is... We can't talk to Abigail. She's too upset. Because... Uh, funny thing is, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's me when I'm sober. <laughs> the fact that they're drunk makes me feel very bad about myself. <laughs> so? Oh, man. Uh, I think we should just go to bed? Say something. Go on. Say what? I'm going to go to bed. I don't know. And then we can resume our day. Kind of talk to more people, maybe. Oh, yeah, we're going to sleep and then I'm going to change my outfit. We'll sleep until morning. Wait, no, that feels wrong. That's only three hours. Well, it's fine. Arthur has survived with no sleep. <laughs> I need to stop saying that because it sounds so just blah. Hold on, I kind of want to do no coat. We got to build from like the ground up again. I do kind of miss his everyday shirt. I miss the blue, and blue is a very good color on him. So maybe we got to do something with that again. I don't know how I feel about that color. It's not bad. I don't remember what kind of vests we have, though, so let me look at that real quick. It's hard because the stripe is already a pattern. So I feel like plain vests would be better to work with. Okay, what if we did this vest and then we switched to that? How does that look? Does it look bad? No, it doesn't look bad. It's just a lot of dark colors going on, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Hmm, everyday pants still might be my favorite, to be honest. It's the texture. <laughs> I like the texture of it. So maybe we do that. And suspenders? Oh man, I forgot about suspenders. Oh, do we want the vest or suspenders? <laughs> no, I like the, um, like the worn look of the vest. Which is funny, because I usually don't like to go for that. But we're going with something different today. We are, we are. I'm gonna keep these. But what I want to do is... 
Yeah, I want that. I like the rolled sleep. Hmm, actually, I don't know. No, I think I do like the rolled sleeves. Yes, indeed. Gloves, spurs. Oh, wait, it's got a... Oh, because these are actually new. I didn't even notice it had stars next to them. Spurs. I just bought new ones, so I don't know. <laughs> I might wear the ones I bought. Yeah, that cloth mask scares me. Do we want the bandana? Hmm. I think no bandana. Neckwear. How does that look? It feels wrong if I don't have anything there, so I guess I'll do that. I just wasn't sure about the look of a whole bandana taking up all that space. Yeah, I don't really want to get rid of my bandolier. I guess that's all good. We're good. We're fine. Oh, wait. I wanted to change his hat. There we go. New outfit. Yeah, I actually kind of like it. Dark colors, but it works. It works, I think. Who else have we not talked to? Pearson and Who Charles. Here, Mr. Morgan. Why, thank you. Posted that letter for you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Anytime. We totally did not read it. Well, <laughs> get back to it. Okay. <sighs> hey, thanks again for saving me in that cornfield. Of course, you do the same. I really would. Let's keep our eye on Mr. Trelawney. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yep. Should we do Hello, Mr. Trelawney's mission? Ms. Or Lenny's mission. Hmm. The important questions. Hey, Mary Hi. Beth. My lady. Hey, I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. <laughs> anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Arthur. I just gotta say, I love how the game glitches sometimes, and some people are holding cups, Here and then people are. like Sadie Another are not. <laughs> and definitely not wiser. Oh, oh, Kieran. Hey there. Morning, Arthur. Sadie, what you got on me, girl? You seem in a good mood. I do. Well, anyway, <laughs> don't let me spoil it. Sure, Arthur. Alrighty. Anyway. I think I'm gonna... Oh, wait, there's a question mark. And then... Actually, I don't know. I might do Lenny because we haven't hung out with him in a while and we just did a, a Trelawney thing. You okay, Arthur? Last episode. You wanna talk? I would love to. Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? He said, uh-huh, I know. <laughs> I've been killing a lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well, you know me. Sure. I know you. You know me. Then you go a murderer. <laughs> but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. I love all the girls checking in on Arthur. Like, seriously, that's so cute. Also, I want to know what Arthur means by killing innocent people. Am I actually doing that? Am I making him do that? <laughs> we kill a lot of people, but mainly because they attack me. 
That's all I know. Hey, Lenny. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Uh, I mean, I always do, all this but it's okay. Gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Mm. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, we can do that. <laughs> worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> deep in the woods? <laughs> I don't know, man. The woods scare me. All right, then. Let's go rob some food. The woods really scare me. I also don't know how to ride through them, apparently. I just, I crash into everything. <laughs> and we just did it again! Come I on. think Arthur needs a it's bath this soon. This is bad. His yeah. face kind of dorty. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but <laughs> no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. They might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Why would it? I'm sorry you're caught up in this. I feel bad. Well, I guess their gold still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. You and me both. We got okay, this. <laughs> I yes. like the attitude. It beats being lynched back in Blackwater mm -hmm. with all of you by my side. True. I guess it does. Get. Easy now. Yeah, I'm down to rob anybody. As long as you tell me where to go, I'll go. <laughs> Maybe not someone who's like very innocent and deeply in trouble, but. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna um, strategize it, a little. Yeah, we're gonna be outgunned. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Mm. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Dang. We're talking about like a lot, a lot of people then, huh? Seems like they got a system. They got everything. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. 
<laughs> I don't think anyone in their right mind would care. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I okay. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? <gasps> oh, I hear Someone's people. Track. Wait, but I have to draw. <laughs> this is very important. What does it say? Saw an old church. Found it interesting. Not sure why. I mean, it looks very Look pretty. Let's see where he's going. Even like worn You're down, it looks now. pretty. Right behind you. Okay. Let's okay. Okay. Keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Yep. Could be. <laughs> Worth a follow at least. Hey, they're red boxes. Well, we're getting kind of close. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. I might know this place. Old boys here are real tough. Mm. Oh, hey, it looks like a big manor. Big plantation house. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Okay. Good enough to me. That's huge. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Okay, what all do I have? Ah, haha. -ha. Okay. Huh. Make sure you bring the sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. All right, all right, all right, all right. Have you seen anything? Yes. Yes. <laughs> there you're all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. I know dynamite crates when I see it. Right. Them. Should we just shoot it? Got something, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, we got something. <laughs> we can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just <laughs> draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. That sounds dangerous. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Is that not gonna put him in danger? You gonna make a call? I mean, I kind of want to send him over because I just want the show. Going in, kid. Give him both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Oh, I'm nervous. It's okay. The game won't let him die. <laughs> But I do feel bad for sending him out. <laughs> he is a good uh, sport. Today is a fine and fabulous day. Have all days, and so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merits <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Whoa. Be my oh, kid. Be. Now, Who is shooting? Uh, have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Well, I still blew it anyway. I couldn't not to shoot the dynamite. Where's anybody else now? Oh my god, Lenny! Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm like missing. Come on, Lenny. Lenny, you need to like get away from the open. There's someone. Yeah, I'm trying to get this dude right there. Oh. There's someone there. Oh, holy miss! <laughs> Coming 
coming at me with a knife? Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay, but I mean, he's got to reload at some point, right? There we go. It's okay. He stopped aiming at me and that helped a lot. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. They got weapons. They don't play. I like this gun. There we go. Who else? Is that it? Oh, nope. Okay. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. Quick. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Okay. Let's grab something to get out. Sounds like a plan. Search the area for weapons. Ah. Well, I hope I have enough time to loot, because that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Not yet. No. Just jewelry. And a buckle. Fire bottle. I know, but I still ain't found nothing. Camp buckle. Silver emblem ring. Oh my god, Arthur. He's stuck. Okay, 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 okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. In a minute. Oh my god, there's so many bodies. I'm not doing this. <laughs> this is gonna take so much time. Um... Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. Okay, nice. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. 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 I hope there's not anything else we missed. Yep. There's a lot of bodies. I don't know if I should try and loot them all or not because that's going to take a lot of time. Don't spare the Look out. Don't spare the net. Come on. <laughs> don't spare the Look out. Come on. G up. Listen. Right. We did good. Did really good. Hey, riders, coming our way. Ah, shit. Okay, keep a cool head. The black fella doing coming out of Shady Bell in one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Well, now you do. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these off the left go. Eh. Die. All right, come on, Lenny. Oh, we're going to crash. We totally just crashed. Oh, and I'm stuck. I can't see him. I totally got stuck, y'all. That wasn't even my fault. <laughs> the car wouldn't move. The wagon wouldn't move. All right. This time I will ride away, but um, I don't know. Lenny, be a better shot, I guess. Like, I don't know let's what you go, want from go. me. Get this back to camp. Yep. All right. No fooling around this time. I've been doing that a lot this episode. <laughs> we be better on the road, right? Don't spare the nag. Lenny, stop yelling at me. I'm going as fast as I can. Crack that whip. Hey, Rodas, <laughs> coming 
our way. Okay. Now you're laughing about me going too fast. Okay, what happens if we antagonize them this time? You see, we already dropped a bunch of your people to get this wagon. You gonna make us drop the three of you as well? You hear Oh my god, oh my god. There you go, Lenny, just shoot. And I'll drive. But don't die. Sir, can you not shoot them? Okay, no, they're gone. They're kind of far away. We're good. We're good. I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. For now. Boy, oh boy. We keep messing with these raiders, man. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean, oh. a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know. Well, yeah, so do I. Guess my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But then, no, but nothing. Mean Dutch. And everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. That was so sweet, Arthur. The fact that Lenny did this because he saw Sean bringing in jobs and money. That's funny. That was pretty fun. Cause I don't usually use the uh, like the sharpshooter, the rifle. So that's that was a hey, good one. The camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. to announce it <laughs> uh, we're back in case if anyone even noticed These that we were gone rifles, right i'm gonna keep one just for me hey Ooh. i always enjoy riding with you kid <laughs> you know how to fight hey you too anytime arthur let me look at this i gotta clean my weapons that reminds me i am uh haven't done that in a while Bolt action rifle is now available to modify in shops. Well, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Arthur. Hello, Arthur. Oh, hello. <laughs> so, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, it's wonderful, <laughs> Arthur. Thank you for asking. Yep. Beats that damn mountain. I bet it does. Wow, it's dinner time already again? Oh, Sadie watching Jack. That's so cute. Oh, I can't really talk to him. It's a bummer. I love talking to little Jack. Uncle! But I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. <laughs> Arthur's being Arthur? careful. He's just being careful. I prefer people when I don't have to listen to him. Point taken. Hmm. I had stew recently, so I don't think it's gonna let me have it again. Sadly. Hi, Tilly. Play dominoes? I don't know how to play dominoes. How are you? Alive. Uh, you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? 
I think, as a general rule, <laughs> yes, Dutch he likes would. to avoid <laughs> murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. <laughs> oh, just do it discreetly. I will. Don't let anyone you know it was you. Dominoes. Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Okay, I don't I don't I know. I believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Okay. Don't know what I'm doing. Tilly has the highest double or tile and goes first. The spinner tile has been placed. Okay, so I'm looking at my tiles. Um. Okay. This tile has no available moves. Please select another tile. Can I not do this one? Okay, I'm looking at the table. <laughs> this tile has a number of available moves. I mean, this is fine, I think. I don't freaking know. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta look at my tiles. I genuinely don't know what I'm doing, and I think this makes it all the better. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? I, I should have read the... Uh, I should read the rules, to be honest. You know, I think I like this spot better than Horseshoe Overlook now. I was thinking Do the you? same thing. She's totally winning. I'm just placing these for fun at this point. And I just kind of wanted to talk to her. <laughs> oh, I scored a five. Don't know how I did that. <laughs> Yay me! Wow, okay, 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 okay. Here, here, here. There we go. Ten, I got ten. Right, <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, this is my only one left. Wanna... All right, all right. I'm done. Oh, Dumb. damn you. That's as it should be. Come here. Whoa, hey, I won? <laughs> What? Okay, the wait. The Pinkertons can see you now. Killer, <laughs> bank robber, dominoes player. You gotta keep them on their toes. Not the way you wanted to get arrested, though. Imagine the newspaper headlines. Well, keep your eye out then. Okay, this is very interesting. Arthur has the highest double or tile and goes first. Doubles take priority over a non-double of the same value. This is uh this is fun. This is fun. I don't I don't even know what I'm doing, but I think it's great. <laughs> 20. I scored 10 points. Look at me. Look at me go. Hmm. Mhm. 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 This is actually really peaceful. Hmm. Can I do this? Yes, I sure can. Okay, okay. Then I'll do this. I got you. Oh, we're like totally even. This is scary. I think she's gonna win. 
could do this. Ah. Ah. There we go. <laughs> I win again. I'm sorry. Hair. Um, all right, I'm I'm done. Cuz I'm afraid I'm going to lose the next one and then I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> Thanks, Tilly. I think I kind of understand it now. Totally. <laughs> Ooh, okay, wait. We have... Oh, man. I thought the... The finger... What the frick is it called? <laughs> the finger fillet. <laughs> I thought it was going to be unlocked. I think it's a little too late. So we have a mission with Trelawney, which I would like to do first before we do this bill mission, because I mean, Trelawney's was first. Oh, wait, is it back on the map? Hell yeah, there's Micah. We get to do it with Micah this time. After this, I'm gonna go to bed and we're gonna give Arthur an actual good night's rest because I'm guilty of not doing that. Wait, 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 wait. There's a dog. Sorry, Micah, I gotta come back. I heard dog. Are we gonna have a camp dog? Hi, my friend. Hi. Don't give me well, false hope. And he's ours, I guess. For now. Yes! Aww. That's so great. Hey boy. Hey boy. He said that's Aww. so great. What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. Kane. His name is Kane. That is the cutest okay. thing. Hey, Kane. <laughs> well, what did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. Oh my God, we have a camp dog, guys. I'm, I'm like actually, I'm, I'm Arthur, speechless. A dog. Mm -hmm. A dog. I have the same reaction as you, buddy. Dutch, how are you doing? You and Molly were getting at it last night and uh, not in a good way. <laughs> oh my god, doggy. I want to cuddle with him at night. I was right, finger fillet. I thought I was getting it wrong. <laughs> okay. Oh, his invisible Sit knife. Sit down, my dearest friend. I love it. And show me just what you got. And forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. <laughs> the invisible knife is so daunting. Let's go then. You know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. Before, Forget about Skinny. Well, things all went a little crazy. Oh, I hate watching this. Oh, he's actually good. He's actually good. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Spoke too soon. It's always the pinky, man. I forgot you have to start all over? Dang. Fudge! How many times do you have to do it? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You watching carefully? I just gotta do it for as long as I can. Okay. There we go. Woo! <laughs> okay, what's the next one? A B. Easy. 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 Please don't stab yourself again. I hate Oh, at least like not right now. Not when I'm looking. It makes me nervous. Ah, Ooh! Shit. There it goes, man. It's the sound too. I can't. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm, I got this. My hands are sweating so bad. Oh my god, it's like the more I think about it, the harder it is for some reason. Ooh, okay. Oh, he did a flip. Okay. 
Should we do it one more time? See if it gets a little harder for a challenge. And then after this, I'm going to bed. So B and X. It, yeah, it's a little bit more challenging. That's for sure. What? <laughs> that was cool. Can we actually do stuff like that? Is there a button that prompts that? That was cool. Okay. Oh, shit. I did it too early. I knew it. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. I still won. That's all that matters. <laughs> Is that I beat Micah. Okay, Y and B this time. Still keeping B in the mix. Oh, oh, oh! Like, what? He's just more advanced. Oh my gosh. Mmm, there he goes. <laughs> I love how he's doing it slower this time. It's like it humbled him. You got a five this time. That's kind of... It's hard. Why? 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 B? Okay, okay. Not bad. Yes! Okay. We're good, because that gives me anxiety. <laughs> Knives and stabbing gives me anxiety. All right, I'm going to go to bed. Uh, maybe until noon this time, so that we have a little bit more sleep. Or morning, depending on how much sleep that is for him. And then we'll do our Trelawney mission. Oh, nine hours of sleep. Oh, wait, I just picked night on accident, I think. I'm so used to Y being um, morning. <laughs> Oopsie. If it's still night, I will put him to sleep again. It'll be like he just woke up in the middle of the night normally. <laughs> Sorry, Arthur. Um, yeah, morning. What is that behind his bed? On top of the crate? Is it knives? Kind of looks like knives. We still have our horse stimulants. <laughs> that I I haven't ever used one, which is kind of bad, I think. Um Alright, I let's start the Trelawney mission. Good morning, Dutch. Do you have something inspirational to say this morning? Benny and I raided a big old house in the swamps. Stole some guns. Good work. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Well hidden. Okay, and now we do the Trelawney mission. Hopefully, whenever we're out of camp, I have a moment to clean my guns because A, I will forget if I don't do it soon. B, they're dirty. <laughs> they are dirty. Arthur. Hi, sir. Are you busy, Arthur? No. Why? Well. I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. <laughs> Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. Who do you think you know I am? I, I, what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, not well, much if we keep it non-violent. <laughs> we should if we you can. Sure seem to have got about right. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. Mm. 
How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses Whoa. to meet. Whoa! Again? Expenses? What expenses? It's like it's automatically going onto the hilltop. Canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Would you please uh, down? Sorry, did you get lost? No, he's just... <laughs> he's teleporting. Was afraid you didn't want to join me. Well, I mean, I was hesitant at first. Like you were saying before. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on <laughs> us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know... You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden. Is quite a fellow. Okay. Very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, I see. I forgot that Trelawney likes to talk. <laughs> so when I was riding fast, <laughs> he did not like that. He wanted to have his moment. I get it. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Whoops. Here I go breaking on accident. All right, Shalani, no weapons. No weapons, sir. You can't Here mess this are. up for us. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Okay. I mean, I, I trust your performance skills. <laughs> Back to work. Hire you okay. Should I? I you know, yeah, we we should be fine. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. Okay. We don't want to scare him off. No, no, we don't. <laughs> oh my god, he didn't even use his arms to open the door. <laughs> that is amazing. Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. Mm. They often oh, are. I? But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Hi, it's me. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Damn. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, <laughs> goodbye, Alden, or should I say... I don't think you should. Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Well, that is insane. Not what I was expecting. 
Stillwater Stagecoach. Coach coming south down the river road through Stillwater Strand. Valuables and strong box. Passenger is the very wealthy Mrs. Chester Damson. Aspiring but appalling opera singer. Use your imagination! An opera singer! Man, this is gonna be fun. This has gotta be fun. <laughs> right? I might like to see that pantomime. That's crazy. Through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Anything for the okay, money, I guess. Let's go. This way. When you're standing there at the post office all day what every day. Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up. So they want something on the side. Like he said, right. there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Oh, we've been back, though. Didn't sound like you left anyone <laughs> alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. That's a good all point. This trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. Well, as long as we're on we're the front of that dime novel. Gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. That's gonna tell me something's gonna go wrong and we're gonna get split up. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Just something doesn't seem right. Here we are. This is the spot. Okay. Near all the cows. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. Mm. Huh. And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. All right. We got, we got an opera singer on our hands. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. I thought I was going to have to worry about you. <laughs> but now he's worrying about me, and I think that's funny. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. All right, you do that. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Okay, you gotta go faster. <laughs> that is so funny. Are you gonna get it to stop? Did you say a show? It's a small benefit to build up black water. Mrs. Chester Damson. I flatter. I'm making sure that Arthur is actually stop keeping up. My good man, stop the coach! There we go. Alright, sorry guys. I thought Arthur was just gonna be standing still. There's a dude standing there. What am I supposed to do? something for me. I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. 
This is... <laughs> They're doing little warm-ups. We gotta be quick, we gotta be quick. <laughs> oh my god. Not not his horse pooping and Trelawney fake crying. <laughs> that was great. That's so funny. Farewell. Just a short little audition here in the middle of the road. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that was good, man. That was real good. You did fantastic. Well, you did all the work, to be honest. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> you were allowed to boast. Well done, sir. <laughs> so funny. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Right? Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Is that going to unlock something on the map for us? Like special events where we can rob certain stagecoaches? Our share, $187. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> well, that was really fun, guys. I guess I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here. Thank you so much for joining me along my Red Dead Redemption journey. And if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the post notification bell to stay up to date on all of my Let's Play uploads on the channel. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.